Even if God made me short, I don't think I could take stuff to this level. This is crazy. A black man spent 80,000 on leg extension surgery in Turkey that allowed his height to go from 5'5 five five to 6 foot. He said, I hate it feeling like a small man. The surgery takes six months to heal and I had to learn how to walk again. You do this surgery, you could potentially never walk again. It's becoming like a regular thing. Like I thought he was the only one. I was like, oh, this dude's crazy. He were legit spending six figures to get height enhancements. People all over the world are enamored by a Riverdale man. He just returned from Turkey where he had surgery to grow from five feet five to six feet tall. He wished he was a little bit taller, but not to be a baller. But why she cooking him in the beginning? Even to make all the pretty women holler, but he needed someone to make magic, like pulling a rabbit out of hat. All to go from about this height to that. It's never that deep, bro. I promise. Mentally, physically, and spiritually, and for me, that included height started in December in Turkey when Siggers underwent his first of what will be six surgeries. Surgically cut the bone, they put a rod in it, and they connect the device outside the leg that connects to the rod inside the leg, and you turn a key on it every day for 90 days. Why would you want to go through that? Twice, once on his lower leg, again on his upper, and it cost about 80k overseas versus the estimated 150,000 he would have spent in the States. It's called Live Life Taller. They have a rehabilitation center. They help you get back on your feet and you're there the entire time you go through the surgery whereas when i was going to do it in america they pretty much do the, all the facilities i found they do the surgery and send you home a lot of people approach me in the gym just to tell me like they're proud of me they don't know what's going on they just say hey man i'm proud of you like keep going don't stop pushing little do they know i did it to myself he says he's always had the personality now he has the height to match he's bugging bro eighty thousand dollars go increase my height there's another one moses gibson spent 170 thousand on two height lately knee surgery after being subjected heightism for being five five he said he long struggled to get a girlfriend due to his five five foot five inch frame initially turning to medication and spiritual healer to try and increase his height he realized his last resort was surgically enhancing his height to give him the height he truly desired so i gained about three inches in 2016 and right now i'm at five eight and i decided that i was ready for a second time so that's why we're doing the fibula one week out from surgery feels pretty good i can do some walk with the with the walker and then i'm doing some pts and i'm gonna start lengthening today when i get the device and i'm looking forward to that Dr. to M is, is really nice he does take care of you he's, he's available all the time to speak with you if you have concerns so that's the main reason why I came back to him for a second time. Okay, this is I ridiculous. Your shorts a little so I can see your thighs. Oh, the, the foot Amazing, is yes. Okay. Now straighten out the leg, this one. Straighten it out if you can. Perfect. Good, now bend it. This shit look like it hurt. Look at his face. Here's another one. 150,000 to have unnatural proportions and be crippled. This man paid $150,000 for surgery to increase his height from 5 foot 6 inches to 6 foot. Fired him to turn a screw in his legs every day to stretch them gradually. The recovery process could take more than a year and might lead to complications such as infections or pain. The paragraph shows how much taller he became after the surgery. Is this worth it? no bro your mental has to be in such a fucked up place to go do that like in my opinion y'all don't see all these artists and stuff all these artists are short bro and they get girls too i don't know what it is someone said dating apps and social media has really fucked people's heads up i agree yeah being 5'10 and getting the surgery is insane you have to do physical therapy for years you may never run again i'm 5'11 would even consider this one in the air like you just don't care two in the air for the ones that can't be here i said Bro, like, what is good with you? It's not fair. Like DJ Khaled, we the best right now. And I'm feeling fly in a private jail right now, huh? You Surgery comes to risks, including nerve injury or loss of range of motion. Procedure safe as long as it's done by experienced surgeons. These are the risks of getting this surgery. Bone growth restriction, which may cause short height bone infections injury to blood vessels poor bone healing nerve damage it'll take you a long ass time to get back to even running you might you probably won't even get back to running bro i'm curious to see how the procedure works though so i started off at five four is when i got the surgery done and now i'm five seven you are potentially devastating com complications it's kind of great you're breaking both of your femurs to or i did broke both of my femurs to get the surgery yeah. like why would you want to do that bro for what very careful about what we're doing and how it's done is a wild thing that you're doing but if it's gonna make you happier in the long run then it's worth it okay so let me get this straight this guy got surgery to go from five foot four to five seven nigga you're still short it's kind of tough 
to be a guy and approach a girl that's taller than you. It's like sometimes I would. Bro, no, it's not. Y'all, yo, people are. I don't want to be. I don't want to be disrespectful. Nah, fuck it. I'm gonna be disrespectful, yo. Some of y'all niggas is pussy, bro. I'm just gonna say it, bro. Some of y'all niggas is pussy. It's, it's hard to be short and approach a girl that's taller than you. You pussy. These rappers y'all niggas listen to and artists, these niggas be like 5'4", five, 5'5". Five, five. They be short as hell and they get they get girls, bro. I swear to you. Bro, the baby is 5'7", bro. Lil Uzi is 5'4". Lil Durk, 5'7". NBA Youngboy, 5'8". Kendrick Lamar, 5'5". Five, five. Lil Wayne, 5'5". Five, five. <laughs> like, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie. Some of y'all niggas just pussy, bro being able to find a wife or thinking that girls would just like never look at me when we were out in public so i started off at five four is when i got the surgery done and now i'm five seven i'm not the tallest person in the room like i still definitely think about height i just think about it a lot less there are people in, that get these surgeries done by doctors who really don't know what they're doing and mm. like that's a scary thing you know it's not something that you can just have done and not think about four months, six months after the surgery. You have to really know what's going on and still be in contact with your doctor after that. No, nah, that's crazy, bro. People are necessarily made aware of all the things that can go wrong, that often do go wrong, while seeking out a limb lengthening department. So I have had a patient who particularly sticks in my mind who had significant lengthening of his tibias and ended up with rapid onset arthritis. Others who spent months and months and months doing the rehab and eventually lost their jobs, their income stream, ended up fairly bad off. So it's, it's, it's moderate to high risk surgery. But again, the patients often consider the, the outcome and the rewards to be worth it. Most people who I've come across who've wanted cosmetic lengthening actually have quite often psychological problems, body dysmorphic disorders, and other problems where they have had years of depression and introspection about their perceived disability from their height. Are we actually treating a body dysmorphic disorder or are we actually giving people a lifestyle choice? You hear that, bro? It's a psychological thing. That means your mental not right. That, that means your mental not right, bro. Look at the path you can go down if your head's not in the right place. You know what I'm saying? Anyone out there who watches this video, I don't give a fuck if you're a midget, nigga. Like, I don't care if you're two foot tall. That's what God made you to be. Please do not get this surgery. Be special with your height. You can get girls at any height. Y'all let me know your thoughts on that. And um, as always, it's your boy.